Hi everybody, welcome. I'm glad you're here with me today. I have my very special guest here today helping me get ready for New Year's. I can get and used to you calling me special. I'm enjoying special. this. I'm enjoying the treatment, sir. Well, you are special, Chef Jack. <laughs> so please help me welcome my special guest, Chef Jay Jackson, Mr. Foodtastic. Hey, guys. From DC, who's uh, up to uh, to join us? We're going to make some wonderful um, New Year's Eve uh, appetizers today. So, yum! Um, tell me about the two you're going to make. So, I'm going to make two very simple ones. Uh, the first one is a roasted grape crostini, and the other one is Moroccan cauliflower skewer. Neat. These are very simple, very light. Also, kind of an interesting way to use ingredients. People don't usually roast grapes. People usually just eat cauliflower. So here's a way to kind of make it fun, okay. light, simple. You had all that weight down from the holiday eating, so now let's start to cleanse. We're getting ready for the new year. We gotta start okay. to slim down and get ready. Sounds good. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. For me, it's, it's very simple. We take our grapes, which have been washed off already. I'm gonna add a little olive oil to this. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm also going to have uh, some fresh rosemary. I, I like fresh over mm -hmm. dried. I mean, I don't think there's any substitute. The smell is, I mean, amazing. And just kind of pull that off. And mm -hmm. Just kind of put that on there. Whole, it doesn't need to be chopped because it's just roasting and okay. it'll come off in the process anyway. Great. Um, like so. And I give this also a little, can you give me a little, little thing of salt? A little, oh, of little pop of salt. Oh, there you go. Like so. Give this a little toss around. Maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit. That contrast okay. is sweet in that. Uh -huh. And then I have my pan already here. Now I've already cut up some, some French bread mm -hmm. um, and then drizzled that with a little olive oil. This is kind of how to multi-purpose a, a sheet tray. You oh, take okay. that, the grapes and the, the, uh, the bread on there at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then I always kind of pour out the extra on top of that and I'm gonna put this in the oven okay. for 350 just so you want you want the grapes to start to kind of burst. Also so we're roasting a little bit in this uh -huh. it's ready to start to oh. um, now while that's in the oven let yeah. me um, start a little something here. Please, please, um, please. I have one of my uh, very favorite uh, hors d'oeuvres. This is something that I started making decades ago. It's it was a it was a, a Nouvelle Cuisine dish, and I don't know whether it was a Michel Gerard dish or what it was. I can't Fancy. find, I cannot find the original recipe, no. so I just keep making it because I love, love it. it. Um, so this is uh, fresh uh, salmon. This nice. is um, farm-raised. Uh, we're going to eat this raw, so farm-raised is a better choice than wild. Delicioso. And so I, love I want to just slice it very thinly, yeah. just as if it were smoked salmon, and lay that on a plate. Oh, actually, first I can put a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice on the plate. Good addition. So let me just put some of that down just a little bit. So I'm just going to work along. Now all the pin bones have been removed from this. This mm -hmm. is all completely boned. If um, you didn't get this from a great fish market, you would have to. Oops! Here's a little piece of a speak of the bone. devil. Yeah, and he shouts here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so, but you're thin slicing it, so you'll you'll catch any pin bones. Yes. Yeah, so it's yes. Like, yeah nothing. To okay. Worry about. So um, I'm just going to work along on this and. This is kind of like a, almost like a carpaccio. Love it. So very thin slices of salmon, and then it gets lemon juice and chopped shallot. Oh my goodness. Got some Delicious. finely chopped shallot. Nice. A little pinch of cayenne, Ooh, and nice. a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I and love it. that's it. I love it. We're gonna serve it on toast with a caper or two. Nice. Do a few more slices of the salmon. Do you want to start on your cauliflower? Sure, I'll start on my cauliflower. Okay. Um, this is pretty simple. I've actually already kind of cut up the cauliflower into small little uh -huh. bite-sized pieces, but just to uh, demonstrate with one other piece, um, basically just break it down the cauliflower. 
I like it mm, roughly about that big or so. Uh huh. You know. Okay. About the size of a couple cores or something like that. Um, so I will break down the rest of this, and then we're going to saute this in a skillet. I'm going to season it up, uh, and then we're going to add some apple and some raisin to it, and it's just kind of a wonderful kind of Moroccan flair. I put cumin oh, okay. in it, a little coriander, a little curry, just to sneak that in, and of course my fantastic spice. All right, fantastic, fantastic. goes into everything. Oh, and uh, right here at the bottom of the screen, you is, see, you is see there? the URL for fantastic. Yep, there I it is. I love it. I love it. So I will get this started. Put that on. Okay. Drop some olive oil down in the skillet, like so. Teaspoon and a half of cumin. About the same amount. Equal portions of. Uh -huh. Cumin, coriander, okay. and Sounds curry. Good. I think it's a good. No one has to dominate the other one. Even a little bit of cayenne is good. You're using cayenne, but I think I'm gonna add that in too. Okay. Get a little bit of spoon, just like I do. This kind of works off a few extra calories, so I like uh -huh. to, okay. you know, shake it up in the kitchen. So that, so that way you can eat more of it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I work out for the purposes of eating. Mm -hmm. That is the only reason I work out. And that just goes in the skillet. That's going to take maybe uh, 10 minutes in total. Uh -huh. If you see that the cauliflower starts to, to brown too hard, you can drop some water in it just to kind of uh, so that it begins okay. to steam a little bit more and not cook so hard. Uh, but this should be fine. Uh, an adequate amount of olive oil should keep it from doing that. Uh, and this is your, you just want to cook it until it's tender. Not okay. falling apart because we are going to put on a skewer. But just uh, a little too. Oh, if I could interrupt for a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, please oh, uh, look uh, look closely here. You can nice. see this is already changing color, the salmon, because the uh, lemon juice will give it a sort of a cooked look. Yeah. The acidity of the lemon I would say juice. the citrus kind of is cooking it a little bit, isn't it? Well, it's, um, it, is, it is changing the protein. Yeah. So it's um, denaturing the protein. Gorgeous. Okay, so the lemon juice, the salt, lemon juice, <coughs> a little bit of minced shallot. Do I? It's just a few drops. Ooh, those spices are nice. Needs to rest for oh maybe a half hour or something. Not really much more than that. But you can make it several hours ahead and uh, just give it a little cover of plastic wrap. Stick it in the fridge for up to a couple of hours, and it'll be all all ready to go. And we're going to put the ricotta. Though this is for the roasted grapes. Oh, the grapes. Yeah. Okay. Have a spoon. Watch yours. Ooh, the spices went right up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, amen. All right. So we got our cauliflower sautéing down. This probably needs just until tender. Probably needs a couple more minutes. Uh, uh, I've diced up or cut up some apple. And so about an inch, because okay. this is going to be the base. We're going to put cauliflower, the apple, and a raisin. Oh, it's neat. And it's kind of just a little bite-sized pop. Okay. Something good and simple to eat. So we're kind of put in a bowl. And just kind of that's for the grapes. Really. That is for the grapes. So I'm going to add about that much lemon juice. Okay. So you measure what? what I, have little, measure. I have a little more. <laughs> Um, that was a um, quarter <laughs> teaspoon. Was it? Yes. You got the eye. Definitely. All right. See, what are they doing? They're pretty good. I'll say another two minutes, but just want to show you how the grapes are starting to bust. Awesome. So I'll pull that aside, and the grapes here are nice, getting ready to pop there. So another couple minutes. And okay. Be ready. And now the cauliflower needs to get um, almost tender. Almost and tender. Yeah. Now, should it caramelize a little or? It, it can brown a little bit and that's okay. good for it. it. It doesn't, it's not going to give it a burnt taste. It's actually going to give it kind of like a uh, seared, kind of lightly charred taste. And I actually like that color. It gives it okay. some character. 
I like to give my vegetables character. Character. <laughs> exactly. <Okay. laughs> exactly. Like That's that. another couple minutes. Um, and then we're just ready to assemble. Uh, so I'll grab a plate. Uh -huh. We're just finishing up here. Uh, I'm right here. Grapes. Here he Still is. Here. <laughs> Still here working away. Okay, now um, while you assemble yes, the sir. skewers with the cauliflower yes, and sir. the crostini and all, mm -hmm. I'll just make a couple of little salmon awesome. or dirt here. So after your salmon has had a chance to rest for a little while, then uh, it's nice to garnish it with a few capers. And you can also make canopy and cut them into neat shapes. But another way to do it is to just let people help themselves. So these are little buttered toasts. This piece of exactly. Share the love. Okay, so that's our cured salmon. Uh, aren't they pretty, those skewers? With the uh, cauliflower, apple, and golden raisin. It is and then these together. are the with the roasted grapes. Exactly. So we just put in a little ricotta. Mm -hmm. Prepare the perfect accompaniment Please. here for Please. our hors d'oeuvre and for Lovely. ushering in the new year. So let me go ahead and pop the cork. Yes. Opa! <laughs> Salute! Uh, thanks everybody for joining us today and um, for joining me with my very special guest. Special again. Very special guest, nice. Chef Jay <laughs> Jackson like from DC. Thank you. Cheers, Mr. sir. Fantastic. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody.